So my plan today was to park up at Four Winds Car Park and camp at Great Mist Tour. But Great Mist Tour from the car park is only about a mile, just over a mile, which for me is a bit of a waste of a day on Dartmoor. So I've decided to park at the car park, visit the Merivale Stone Rose and Stone Circle, and then from there walk down and cross over the road down here up around the back of the quarry, Melville Quarry, and head up to uh, Great Stable Tour, across to Ruse Tour, then down the other side of Ruse Tour, uh, through the valley, through the farm, up to uh, Stephen's Grave, and then White Tour. From White Tour, we'll head down to the Bronze Age Settlement. From the Bronze Age Settlement, cross over the river, and up the steep back climb of Great Mist Tour, that's a killer. And then, pinch the tent up. And I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to chilling out. Yeah. <laughs> We're currently on Staple Tour and next heading to Ruse Tour. Then beyond Ruse Tour, then the valley up the other side is to White Tour. I brought quite a bit with me today, probably a lot more than I actually need, but I'd rather have too much and not need it than not enough than need it. <laughs> but in time, the more I go camping, the more I'll realize what I need and what I don't need. Oh, you're so 
Ready? One, two, three. Go. Come on. Hold there. Hold there. Jump up. Come on. That's it. Get your leg up. Ready? Here we go. Get your leg up. There. You're going to hurt yourself, innit? You're going to hurt yourself, man. That's it. Oh, fella. I'm going to do a year, eh? I'm going to contact the farmer, shall we? Shame, I tried getting this one over, but I can't. So I tried everything I could, but I can't. But I phoned in Dartmoor Livestock Protection Society and they're going to send somebody out to, to help to get it over. So you'll be okay soon, fella. Don't worry. You'll be back out soon. So that's my good deed for the day done. The uh, mummy sheep just couldn't lift her, could not lift her. She was so wedged in. So I phoned up Dartmoor Livestock Protection, gave her all the information needed grid reference, tag number, etc. And she's messaged back now, she's contacted the farmer and the farmer's heading out to help that poor sheep. So good deed for the day done. Coming up to Stephen's grave now. And legend has it that many years ago, George Stevens lived in a local village called Peter Tatevi. And uh, he was shunned by his girlfriend and committed suicide. And back then, Committing suicide was frowned upon, and they would bury you at crossroads, like this. And uh, they bury you at crossroads to stop your soul from wandering. I was going to go to a Bronze Age settlement across the left here. It's a fantastic place to visit, it really is. But uh, it's been a fantastic sunny day, but it looks like it could rain soon. So I'm going to head straight to Mr. Tour now, Great Mr. Tour, to get a tent set up, hopefully, before any rain starts. Look at that hill. <laughs> That's a beast to climb in a minute. So, trying to find a way across. If I never have a backpack and have my shorts and trainers on, it'd be easy. But uh, we'll find someone in a minute. <laughs> Climbing this side of Great Mist Tour, it's tough when I'm running it without a rucksack on. With this on, my goodness, it's a killer. <laughs> but just thinking, it'll be great training for doing running ultra marathons, etc. So, so just now I was on the Great Staple Tour and then Roos Tour. Went down the other side, up to Wait Tour. And now down and back up to Great Mist Tour. And in a minute, the tent's gonna go up and a nice cup of coffee, yes. So why have I decided to go wild camping on Dartmoor? Well, normally I run Dartmoor. I run for miles and miles uh, and I run marathons, ultra marathons. I just love this place. The history is fantastic. And for the last couple of years, I've been seeing people's posts on Facebook and Instagram, etc. 
and people are wild camping and they look so chilled out it looks so relaxing and i kept thinking i want to do that i want to start camping on dartmoor and then lockdown happened so i didn't buy anything then and then the last few months now i've been starting to collect bits and pieces of camping gear uh, nothing expensive because i want to start off on a bit of a budget really to make sure i enjoy it first of all and i'm here now for the first time the tent's all set up and it just feels so chilled out it's just me the cows the sheep the horses the ponies and nobody else it's just so quiet here this is awesome <laughs> look at that And that's me, all cosy and ready for bed. I'm not expecting much sleep tonight, but you never know. I may get a few hours if I'm lucky. <laughs> so until the morning, good night. Good morning from a misty morning on Dartmoor. So last night I slept quite well. I woke up quite a few times, obviously, but uh, each time I woke up, I fell straight back to sleep, no problem at all. I also woke up just in time for the sunrise this morning at about five o'clock open the tent up and no sunrise it was mist just pure mist so went back to sleep for a couple of hours but i can't complain because last night's sunset was incredible a fantastic sunset the best i've ever seen on dartmoor best ever um i slept quite well uh, i was lovely and warm and i expected it to be cold but i was lovely and warm snuggled up all night long have you noticed behind me the red flags flying behind me if you can see that that's because Dartmoor Fire Range is on today, military training, but I'm actually just inside the, the actual military training range. I did check before I came out. So I'm going to have some breakfast now and then get ready to pack up and move on. have my porridge. I have porridge every single morning. I can't start a day without my bowl of porridge. That's me, finished for the night, ready to go. Just make sure there's nothing left behind, leave no trace whatsoever. Head back to the car, what a fantastic night. This is Little Miss Tour, standing proud in the mist. So what do I think of my first night while camping on Dartmoor? Oh my goodness, I've absolutely loved it and I can't wait to get out and do it again. Even the rain doesn't bother me, just being here on Dartmoor is awesome. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and there will be lots more videos coming real soon. This is Dartmoor Runner signing off from Dartmoor. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.